Let's get started with PostGIS. Now, PostGIS is an extension for Postgres, uh, allowing you to add support for storing, indexing, and querying geospatial data. Now, Superbase comes preloaded with PostGIS as well, making it very easy to enable it on your Superbase Postgres database. So let's go fully from scratch the easiest way to create a new Postgres database with Superbase is to go to database.new. You select your organization. So I'm going to call this Super Geo. And we can generate a password. If we do that, important just to copy it and note it down. Now, I'm personally here in Singapore, so I'll create my project here in the Southeast Asia region. But you can obviously select any other region that suits you. And then we'll just wait a minute for this to spin up. Now, in the meantime, we can look at how we can enable um, PostGIS on our Superbase Postgres database. Now, this is very convenient. We can do this in the Superbase dashboard. Um, now, if we do it in the dashboard, um, what happens in the background is that we're uh, doing basically executing this SQL statement, which is creating the extension PostGIS. And this part is important, we need to say with schema extensions. Now, the reason we need to do this is if we just say create extension PostGIS, it will create it on the default, the public schema. Now, because the public schema is um, exposed as an Postgres API, uh, and there are certain configurations um, related to that in terms of user um, permissions and RLS. Um, it is advisable uh, also, you know, because PostGIS is quite uh, compute intensive to not kind of put that on the public schema. So, um, you know, we'll just create this on the extensions schema and then we're good to go. So either we can run this SQL command um, in our uh, SQL editor here. So we can do that. Or we can go to database, we can go to extensions. Um, and then we can see we have tons of extensions available here. So the easiest might actually be to say post GIS. Um, and there's a couple uh, things actually that we can, you know, enable on top. Um, or related to PostGIS, but basically if we toggle this on, um, we'll say our schema, uh, we can select a certain schema, you know, we'll just put it here on the extension schema. And PostGIS is on and we are ready to go. Now we can get started with um, PostGIS. So for example, we can just follow along here, we can create a table. Uh, and in this table, we want to store location of restaurants. Um, and the way we store locations is using the geography um, data type, kind of column type um, with a point, And we say that the location can't be null. So what we can do here is we can go to the SQL editor or, you know, we can run um, migrations. But so we just run this, we say uh, success in a row returned. And now if we go to the table editor, we can see that we have um, our table here, we can switch the view as well to like um, definition. Uh, so here we can always see our um, SQL schema, we can also go open up the API docs. So if we want to, you know, query this with um, Superbase JS, for example, um, we can do that here as well, we can look at the language, uh, we can also do it with curl, of course. And then creating a spatial index is always recommended. So in this case, you know, as our data grows, and we're querying for, you know, kind of location data, you know, bounding boxes, or, you know, within like, um, a specific radius of, you know, something, for example. Um, so we can do a, a generalized search tree here, um, as an example. And that will help us in the future. So we can go and um, create that index on our table. So here we go, run that. And so now we can go ahead and we can insert some data. 
Now, the great thing is, again, you know, we can do this with SQL, we can do this with JavaScript. So if you have a JavaScript application, um, the way you would insert a geography point um, is just like this. So it is in this format where we put in the x is the longitude and then y is the latitude. So long latch is how we're um, inserting the data. And so we can just copy that and we can put that uh, insert into our restaurant's name and location and we'll insert the um, geo points there. And so if we go back to our table, we can now see we've created um, these uh, this geography. So this is the uh, representation of the um, point as a geography data point and then we can use that for querying. So um, now that we have that, um, we can, for example, order by distance. So, you know, in general, if we want to have kind of more complex SQL queries, and we want to trigger them from the client size, we use a concept called remote procedure calls. So RPC functions, the way this works is we're creating, um, you know, functions in our database. So for example, here, we're creating a SQL function. And we have kind of an input, input latch uh, long, uh, we'll input them as floats. So here, for example, you know, we have our location stored in the database. So as a geography. So what we would do is we would cast this as a geometry, and then we can use this function postgs function um, to get out the x and the y coordinates. So that is how we retrieve our latch and long from um, from our uh, geography location. Um, but now in this case, you know, for the actual ordering. So here we're we're ordering by distance, this is kind of this um, uh, spatial operator here, we can use so this operator returns the two dimensional distance between two geometries. Um, so what we can do here is we can turn our long and lat from the input into um, a geography. And then we can, you know, have our location geography in the database. And so we can order by distance. And then we can also calculate here, um, ST distance. So PostGIS has a lot of methods that make kind of working with um, geographies really, really uh, convenient. So if we wanted to call this from, you know, JavaScript, Dart, Swift, Kotlin, um, what have you, we can um, do all this through this uh, remote procedure call um, approach. Now, in that case, the actual SQL that is being executed is kind of in here. So what we can do is we can run a new query. And so we'll need to put in our long and our lat. So here again, uh, we have our long. So our long as um, a float as well as our um, latitude. Actually need to do this here as well. So this was our um, input uh, to, you know, calculate the distance from that point. So we can run that. And so now we can see here, we have our um, lat long uh, retrieve from from that and we can see our distance. So the, you know, closest distance, so we're ordered by distance here. So our closest one is the super burger. So maybe that's where we'll head it for lunch now. So yeah, there you have it. This is how quickly you can get up and running with um, Superbase and Postgres. Now there's a couple more advanced use cases and I'll be creating a couple more videos with, you know, advanced um, use cases where we'll actually look at kind of real time maps, hosting your own map tiles, generating um, map tiles programmatically on the fly with PostGIS. So definitely stay tuned. And you know, if there's anything else that you'd like to learn about Superbase, PostGIS, what have you, please let me know down in the comments. And thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.